if they get if they get upset with us, they can blow our satellites up, which we good. China can do that. <laughs> so probably we shouldn't broadcast there. <laughs> Liftoff of Falcon 9 and Starlink Ocho. Starlink satellites are separating from second stage right in front of you right now. Today we have brought you a video about a broad internet service project. Imagine you are in a desert or some remote area where there's no population or cities nearby. There will be no cell phone or internet signal which will make you helpless. SpaceX has started a project with the hope of providing internet services in almost every part of Earth. They've been launching Starlink satellites since 2019, which will provide high-speed internet to every inch of Earth, and the aim is to provide internet to places where it's pretty expensive or just not available. This is Elon Musk's ambition project, where SpaceX is using its Falcon 9 rocket to launch approximately 60 Starlink satellites at a time in space, which are stacked up on top of each other. These satellites are at a very low elevation, which will help reduce the latency in data transmission, hence resulting in high-speed internet. Latency is known as the time it takes for signal to travel to the other end and back to its destination. This broadband will be enough for competitive gaming with a target latency of only 20 milliseconds, which is faster than cable internet or the speed you get from fiber optic. It's estimated that a thousand satellites will be enough for basic internet services, but SpaceX plans to get 12,000 of Starlink satellites into orbit. The company has succeeded in launching 550 Starlink satellites as of the 13th of June 2020. The company has also applied for permission to launch up to 42,000 satellites, but you must be wondering why is there a need to launch so many satellites? The reason is that they're low altitude from Earth, due to which they're not able to cover larger areas, hence more satellites are required for internet coverage everywhere. What SpaceX is trying to achieve is extraordinary because only 9,000 satellites have ever been launched in all of history. Moreover, out of 9,000 satellites, only 5,000 are in orbit and functional. Scientists are also worried about the light pollution because the satellites are much closer to Earth and bright enough to see with a telescope. The latest batch of satellites launched by SpaceX consists of a sunshade which can block reflections of sunlight off the antenna. Now let's discuss about the connectivity of Starlink satellites by users. The internet services can be utilized with the help of a device which is about the size of a pizza box and doesn't require special expertise for setup. The terminal is easy to use as it's plug and play and you have to aim it towards the sky. However, these services will not be easy to use by people who live in countries where the internet services are censored. One of the examples is the Great Firewall of China, which has banned Facebook, Twitter, YouTube or Google. Starlink broadband internet services cannot be controlled by governments because it does not rely on domestic communication infrastructure. It's the most likely that governments which censors the internet will ban Starlink or they can also try jam Starlink satellite signal. Or they can try to jam the Starlight or they can try to jam Starlink satellite signals. Elon Musk once said in his interview about China that if they get, if they get upset with us, they can blow our satellites up, which is okay. China can do that. <laughs> so probably we shouldn't broadcast there. <laughs> We should keep in mind that Elon has another company known as Tesla, which has invested a lot in China. Tesla has a huge customer base there, and we should also not forget about the Gigafactory in China. Starlink plans to begin their services in northern US and Canada from 2020, from where they expand to nearly everywhere by 2021. Another important point is that Starlink is not intended to be used in high-density areas because of its low bandwidth. The project is focused to provide internet services to areas where there's weak or no coverage. The company doesn't have competition at the moment and has also the advantage because it has its own rockets. Moreover, the rockets land back on Earth and are reusable, hence reducing the cost of each launch considerably. SpaceX had a competitor, which was a British startup, OneWeb, but the company filed for bankruptcy this year. Amazon also had a project named Cooper, which aimed to provide high-speed internet from space. The CEO, Jeff Bezos, is the owner of Blue Origin, which is also manufacturing reusable rockets. SpaceX hasn't revealed yet how much the internet service is going to cost, but the publishing of this video indicates that this project will generate a large amount of revenue for the company. The company estimates to earn $30 billion a year from this project, which is 10 times more than the annual income it expects from its core rocket launching business. There is a bigger purpose for this project, which is to use the revenue generated from Starlink to support Elon's greatest ambition. I emphasize this enough. This is the thing that we need to do. 
we must make life sustainably multi-planetary. Multi the aim is to use this revenue to fund the development of a city on Mars and also use this satellite system on the Red Planet. That's all for today. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this project. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep watching such amazing videos.